I had someone to ask me, how do I shrink wrap my dessert candles? Well, usually I try to stay inside the jar, which is where this is how I want it to be, where the top fits right and snug. So it's room, nothing touches, and that's it. But sometimes it does happen where I get a little carried away. Um, the way I pipe, as you can see the little things, it will not overflow, it'll go in the crevices. But to answer her question, I just put my labels on. Um, usually I take and put my warning label right here. So once they open it, but I will still send them a top. So um, I just take and get some four by six shrink wrap. Let me show you. And I'll drop the link in the below. And here it is, some shrink wrap. And I'll drop the link. I get it off the Amazon. Um, I think she's trying to shrink wrap it too soon. And I just put the tops on just like this, shrink wrap it. And just make sure it's snug on here, just like that. And I do, I do a bunch of the time, but for this video purpose, I'm only gonna do two. So hopefully I don't mess up, y'all. You see? Okay. Then I let my heat gun. It's gonna get hot. So the heat gun does the work. I hit the bottom first, which means I'm tugging it at the bottom. It's nothing to it, and I wanted to catch it at the bottom first, so it's a snap right. It just starts shrinking right there, and then I'll take it across the top, and I just let it hit. And it shrink wrap good and tight. And that's it. Done. Now, if I went up to the top, I could have still did it the same way. Hit it with the